Hi everyone welcome to my YouTube channel. Try not to skip the video for getting exact output for rendering. Getting a realistic render view using V-Render Engine is simple by following the steps in this video. First let's start 3ds Max software and import a sample 3D scene for our render setup. Here I'm going to import one of my 3D scene. It is possible for everyone to set up a perfect render setup for a greater output. All you have to do is watch the video carefully and follow the steps. Let's go to the camera view for setting our best POV or point of view. After placing the camera posture suitably open the render setup. On the first appearing window we can see the common setting, in that select your preferred render output resolution on giving values in output size. Here I have preferred to make a custom resolution size. So I decided to give value for width is 1900 and 1400 for height. Now scroll down and click on the last setting name Design Render, there you can find a category selector named Production, click on the options and select V-Ray Advance the click on the next category named Active Shade and choose the V-Ray RT option, now we are done with the common setting. Next you can find V-Ray setting next to Common. Select the icon then select the Image Sampler option here we have to change the type. You can find two types one is Bucket and Progressive. Click the bucket option. It's important that choosing a type for image sampler should be correct. I always use bucket option for my render setups. The next option to select is on image filter. Click on the image filter then THW filter option unlocks where you can find filter options choose the Vrela O's filter. Next on the global DMC turn on the lock noise pattern and use local subdivision options then finally we have the one option named color mapping. Here we have to select a perfect type, which I prefer exponential type, which is suitable for all type for color mode. Finally we select on the global illumination option seen next to the V-Ray setting. Here all we have to do is simple steps. Enable the GI change the primary engine to Iridian's map and secondary engine to light cache. We are almost set for the render. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Keep supporting for more videos.